All right, so imagine this. You're eight hours into a 12-hour operation copying a database backup file from your backup server over to your production server so that you can bring your company's application back online when you lose power and everything goes dark. So you know what happens next, right? Well, you get to start over because all of that work that you were doing out on that remote server, it's all gone now. Or you can finish watching the rest of this video and I'll show you some tips and tricks to prevent that from happening to you. Hey, what's up? I'm Will from DevOps for Developers. And so the problem that we're trying to solve in this video is sometimes you connect to remote servers and you may get your connection bounced, whether you lose power or your VPN tunnel bounces or you lose network connectivity or whatever the case may be. The problem with that is when that happens and you lose that connection, anything you were working on whenever you log back into that server, you're gonna be starting all over, which in some cases can be painful, like in the case of transferring over a really large file, it takes a long time to copy over or if you're transferring over a bunch of smaller files, or you've just been working on something, you know, editing a file for a long time, whatever, it doesn't really matter. The problem is that it's frustrating and it's lost time when you have to go back and start over. So let me show you here what's gonna happen. All right, so the tool that you're looking for is a tool that's called Screen. And to start it, you just type the command Screen. Now, it's installed on most Linux distributions if it's not installed in the one that you're working for, you can install it using your standard package manager, which is apt. If you're using one of the Debian based distributions or YAM, if you're using a Red Hat based distribution, and if you're not using one of those, what are you actually doing? Anyway, so type screen, and we've got a couple of prompts here. We're just gonna skip past those because reading the manual is something that you do after you screw things up. So I'm just at my regular terminal prompt here, right? And everything seems totally cool. So let's see, have I got any files here? There's a file called snap. Let's just do this. Let's do vim.text, test.text and insert. And then we'll type in some stuff here. Okay, so now we've got this work here and I haven't saved anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and just kill this session. Boom, it's gone. As well as the um, file size for my uh, font there. There we go, that's better. Hopefully you can see that now. So I got kicked out of my server. So let's go back into it. We'll SSH to, that was KS1. And clear that off the way. And so if we look right here, well, my file that I was editing doesn't seem to exist, but let's watch this. Let's type man screen here. And so we can use screen to start a new session, which we don't wanna do, or we can do screen dash R to resume an existing session. So we'll, let's try that. Oh look, there's a couple of ones option or a couple of different ones running here. So the main thing is you gotta know which one you want. I want the one here that was last disconnected because as you might've guessed, I was playing around with this, making sure that my video was gonna run smooth, but I forgot about this part. So anyway, I'm gonna copy that there. We will do screen dash R and now it says over here that it's detached, right? If it didn't show that it was detached, I could do a dash D and force that to detach. And one of the reasons why it might not be detached is if I get bounced out and I go right back in and it hasn't had time to figure out that I'm not there anymore. So I hit screen dash R, type in the screen that I wanna resume. And look at this, I'm reconnected to the exact same place I was right before I get kicked out. So let me show you a couple of other cool things that are handy to know about screen. So here I am typing away, right? I don't have to wait to get kicked out. Um, I can bounce myself out automatically using the keyboard keys, control A, control D, and that's just gonna exit screen. 
but it still shows my running session. And then I can go ahead and reconnect to that. And I'm back in there just like I was. That way, you know, if I'm gonna leave for the day or go to um, a coffee shop for my desk or whatever, I can still do that. Now, the important thing about this is I have to run screen from the remote server that I'm connected to, right? If I launch screen here locally on my workstation and I get kicked out, well, I still got kicked out because it's that remote connection that we're trying to preserve there. So I need to be running screen on the remote system itself so that it I can reconnect to the session over there. Um, a couple other things here, uh, kick myself out there. Whenever I do screen dash R, I can only see the um, screen sessions that belong to my user. So I can't see the screen sessions that belong to other users on this system without using some type of sudo privilege escalation. So now there are a bunch of other options available for screen. And if you want to read more or learn more about those, you can do just like I did and type man screen to get to the man page for the screen application. Um, so one of the other programs that has a very similar feature set is a program called Tmux. And so Tmux has those capabilities plus a ton of other features in there. I don't use Tmux a whole lot personally. I just, I don't really like it, but that's just me. And as soon as you encounter someone who is a fan of Tmux, that's probably one of the most offensive things that you can say to them. Um, as a matter of fact, they would probably let, rather let you slap their mama than to talk trash about Tmux, but whatever, that's, that's for them, you know? And so if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about some Linux skills that might come up in a job interview, because I can almost guarantee you will be asked a question in some various format in a Linux style job interview to see if you know what screen is and how to use it. Um, check out the other video I have that goes through some of the other common Linux questions that you'll get asked in a job interview. And uh, I'll see you over in that video.